We are gathered here on this beautiful fall evening to celebrate the marriage of Jessica Bialik and Bobby West. Today is a meaningful day, November 11th. It is Veterans Day, and in this room, we have active and prior military members, including multiple Marines who served here and overseas in Iraq. We want to recognize them and their service and all those who have served. This day is also meaningful because it was on this day, November 11th, 2011, that Jessica and Bobby met in Miami, Florida. They were introduced by two friends, Dan and Casey Hedgecoff. Casey was insistent that Jessica meet one of Dan's college teammates and friends from Delaware. Upon meeting, Jessica remarked to Casey that Bobby was the most attractive man <laughs> she had ever seen walk the earth. <laughs> I think there are some people in the room who would agree. <laughs> but I think there are more people who would argue that Jessica edges him out in that category. <laughs> Especially today. Bobby was so anxious to see her again that two days after their first meeting, he asked her to take him to the airport for his flight home. In true Bobby fashion, texted her from the gate in Fort Lauderdale 10 minutes after getting through security has been texting her ever since. In addition to being a great looking couple, they have individual qualities that make them mesh well. Those close with Bobby say that there's nothing he wouldn't do for them. That he is an extremely loyal sibling, son, and friend. Those close with Jessica appreciate her ability to put others around her at ease and appreciate her wicked quick sense of humor. Her sisters will tell you that she is selfless she is determined, and she is generous. These endearing qualities have helped you become the couple that you are today and will bode well for you as you make this next step. As I look at Jessica, I can't help but reflect on all the years I was lucky enough to watch her grow and become the beautiful woman she is today. Jessica and Bobby, marriage is a new beginning, a new adventure. Share your joys and burdens. Make each other laugh at least once a day. If you do these things, the adventure turns into a long journey. We uh, met Jess in um Actually, they made a quick stop by at our house in uh, Millersville, Maryland. Jess was uh, a very, very nice girl. And so Debbie and I were like, hey, she's a nice kid. About a year and a half later, we made our way to Miami to visit Bob. We hit it off fabulously. Debbie is talking about stuff. She, Jess is Jewish, I was Catholic. She's talking about recipes. She's talking about culture. She's talking about everything involving the Jewish faith. And, and I've been to Israel like three times, and, and I have never heard of anything that's what she's talking about. So they hit it off largely, and we knew this was going to take some, uh, this was going somewhere. I found a love. Hi, Bobby. Take you, Jessica, to be my wife. Me. Hi, Jessica. Take you, Bobby, to be my husband. Love, to love, respect, respect and, grow. and grow with. To always kind, be kind, patient, patient and, and forgiving. In, in sickness, sickness and in health. Beautiful and sweet. Through sorrow, sorrow and success. success. Today, tomorrow, and always. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails.
stronger than anyone I know. He shares my dreams. I hope that someday I'll share his home. I found a lover to carry more than just my secrets. To carry love. To carry children of our own.